Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Fahey Arndt. I love doing tutorials of different tools to help professionals, leaders, and business owners get organized in their business, especially if it can make them more strategic and efficient and productive without burning out. So today I was going to do a video on Microsoft OneNote and organizing it. And then I was looking at my OneNote and how I use it. And I saw the Loop app. And I thought, okay, today I'm motivated to share this because Loop has Kanban boards. I just did a video on Kanban boards. So I'll link that below in the description all about how to build Kanban boards in the to-do or the um, planner app in uh, Teams. But today we're going to talk about the Loop app or Loop components because I feel like they are still pretty new and people don't know how to use them. So let's get down to it. So I'm actually in the Loop app in the browser right now. And Loop is super fun. So it's meant to be a shareable. You can see shared locations here. You can see this copy loop component. It's meant to be something that can be used collaboratively. It's meant to be something that can be shared in multiple platforms. So I'm in the loop app in the browser. If I copy that loop component, go over to chat and then paste it in a chat right here, you're going to see the loop component for this Kanban board pop up and I can send it which is cool. So basically, if I'm in a chat with my team, anybody can be in this Kanban board and they can be updating it. They can see me writing in real time, which is really cool. And uh, every single day, uh, if let's say we put this component here and we have a bunch of ch chats and it, it's just a bunch of chats all day long and all of a sudden this chat's so large, but I want to make sure people see this loop again, I can copy it again and put it back in the chat. So this was really helpful when I was leading my team, when we were going through a situation where we had to have stand up huddles every single day because there was an incident that we needed updates on. I put a loop component in the chat and then I added my updates every single day. I made headers and I made sub points and I would just paste it in the chat the beginning of the day, the end of the day, and people could read it. They could type questions to me. I could see questions. So it's a collaborative active chat that's meant to be shared across multiple channels. So this loop component actually was one that I started in my Microsoft OneNote. Now, a lot of people ask, what's the difference between OneNote and loop? So OneNote is more of a traditional uh, notebooks, digital notebook. It's uh, really nice if you are a pen and paper type of person and you love the feel of writing something down and then you want to go long-term store it in a notebook. I have my digital planner here in uh, my leader standard workbook in OneNote and then I play around with it often. I've been working on this uh, leader playbook so you can make different pages, sections, templates, and type right in here. There are so many different uh, benefits to OneNote, and I can do another video on that at a different time. But the difference is when you think about Loop, it's not really meant to be this long-term storage thing. It's not really meant to be for just an individual user. It's collaborative. So I would say you wouldn't use, you could use OneNote to collaborate with teams. Many people do, many people share links, but it's often to store a lot of like meeting notes or client forms or agendas or promotions. But I would say Loop is less permanent. It's more active and collaborative. But you can see that this is the same chat or the same Kanban board, the same Loop component that I put in the chat. And now it says Team Chat Kanban here. So I just think that's really cool. So if you are in a OneNote notebook, let's say, and you come over and do a new section, how do you add a loop? So you'll see across the top, there's the home menu and the insert menu. Click insert and you'll find loop components. So loop is really cool. It gives you all these different options. For example, it comes up with a checklist template, uh, which is really fun. I love looking at the, this one was really fun. It was a progress, tra progress tracker and you can make this bigger. So it's got all these awesome templates for you where you can type in, you can add owners, tag people who are part of this group. Same thing for if you want to add Kanban boards. So if you watched my video on making a Kanban board in Teams, all you got to do is do loop components, Kanban board, and it's right here inside of your OneNote. And I really think it's very beautiful. It's a lot prettier 
than um, the Teams app, uh, the Planner app. But uh, the only thing that I would say that's not a positive is this does not sync across your Microsoft Outlook in the to-do app. So I made that Kanban board earlier in loop and I come over here. This is my demo uh, to do, so it's not up to date, but I made that uh, original Kanban board to do uh, uh, one of the boards due today. And if I look at my day, like there's no tasks on here due today. So it does not sync. It, if I were to open my Outlook, again, this is more of my demo Outlook. If I go to my to-do, there's nothing here for my day. So it just doesn't sync across uh, those types of platforms. But you could copy it and put it in a chat, copy it and paste it into a team. So that would be the benefit. But you make the Kanban board in the same way. This would be your project or your task number one. You could add the owner of myself, select a due date. You can expand this card. And it's got a lot more features. Target date stage is just like a tag that you add. You can have subtasks. You can add notes. Uh, you can add custom fields, uh, voting, numbering, all of that. And share updates. You can add comments. I would say you can actually like or put emojis, which you can't do in the planner app in Teams. So I really think this is cute. Um, if you are familiar with the Notion app, don't you all think it looks like Notion whenever you create a new page or a task? I really think it does. It reminds me exactly of that. So if you like Notion, but you want to use something that's preferred by your company and they use Microsoft Suite, Loop might be nice for you. Because then once you create this, again, you can share it in Teams and OneNote, but also you can just use the Loop app or the loop uh, workspace. And you can create your own basically space of different loop um, templates, including this Kanban. And then if you want to share it, you can. If you don't, you know it's there for yourself. Um, it will notify you of things where you are mentioned, due dates, assigned tasks. Um, you can go to recent. You can. Um, the other thing that's cool about loop is Loop can help you take active meeting minutes uh, within Teams when you are actually in a Teams meeting. So I hope that gives you a kind of a brief high-level overview of the Loop app, how it's different than OneNote, that it's more collaborative. It's meant to be shared. It's not really for long-term storage. However, it's really easy to use. It's really clever. It's real time. It's not like the traditional notebook. It's more what you might be used to if you're in like updating a Google Doc all at one time, but you can do it in a chat. So super collaborative, easy to use, mobile, and just a really fun way. So an alternative for Kanban boards and other templates. All right. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out my playlist of other Microsoft tutorials, including OneNote and Teams and Kanban boards linked below, or you can check out my homepage and look at all my awesome playlists. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.